People tell us every week that our information has helped save their life. If you agree that this is helpful information, please like, share, and most of all, subscribe. Because nothing makes a channel like subscriptions. The most common reason for coming to see me is somebody that's had a significant positive calcium score. And it's like mortality stares you right in the face. That's a scary thing. And I get a lot of boomer men coming to see me with positive calcium scores and they start crying because they're afraid they're about to die. Not so fast. Slow down. Think about all the stuff we cover on this channel. First thing I would do, come see us. And if you don't come see us, the first thing I would do is get an insulin survey. If you don't have an insulin survey, you don't know how to do it. We can show you that. It's the test where you, you come in, draw the blood sugar and the basal insulin after fasting for eight hours. Then you take that 75 grams or preferably 100 grams of glucose. An hour later and two hours later, you check the glucose and the insulin again. And that's going to tell us if you've got a carb metabolism problem. And if you've been listening today or if you've seen more than three of my videos, I say it over. You've got risk. There's no question. This can kill you and it's more likely to kill you than anything else or disable you but you don't have to panic you don't have to get emotional you just evaluate the situation and respond to it and we know what the most common issue is most of us by the time that we're forming plaque we're forming it because we got into cardiovascular inflammation and we're getting into cardiovascular inflammation because from an aging perspective we're losing our ability to healthily manage carbs now there are other reasons there's no question we haven't mentioned the inflammatory diseases not all inflammatory diseases cause this problem but a lot of the inflammatory arthritis do. Lupus, the archetypical inflammatory disease, uh, rheumatoid arthritis. I've got several patients right now that have psoriatic arthritis. So these rheumatoid arthritis, in other words, joint inflammatory diseases, are the ones that really do have significant cardiovascular risk factor. And so you manage that in conjunction with me and your rheumatologist.